I didn't think I was gonna like the Pixel 8 Pro when I first got my hands on it, but somehow it's been my daily driver for nearly six months. It's the longest duration I've ever used a Google phone for. But now, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is out. I'm curious if it could reel me back into using Samsung. That's why I decided to run through another camera shooter between the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro. What makes this one tough is that they have a lot in common with one another. 12 categories, who comes out on top? Let's find out. After taking countless photos, I could say with confidence that the Galaxy S24 Ultra has the better main camera. A shot of the figurine nestled in a shaded spot in between two buildings is proof that not only is the Galaxy S24 Ultra shot brighter and more vibrant, but also shows how it perfectly balanced out the exposure with its excellent dynamic range. Although I would say that the detail capture is nearly identical with both. First point to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I'm gonna give the Galaxy S24 Ultra the win in the ultra wide department. Even though the Pixel 8 Pro technically has the wider 125.5 degree field of view versus the S24 Ultra's narrower 120 degree one. That's because I like how the S24 Ultra delivers better dynamic range, which boosts the shadows and draws out a little more detail. You can see in the archways of the New York Public Library when you zoom in, with more definition in the words etched into the building and the ornate details in the arch. That's the Galaxy again. In another closely contested category, I'm giving the macro photography win to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, even though it's very close. Macro mode is automatically engaged whenever I get the camera super close to my subject, the Galaxy S24 Ultra pulls in a little bit more detail than I need in a macro shot. Colors are represented nicely with both phones, but it ultimately comes down to the slightly better detail captured with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which you can see in the other flower close-ups. This could get ugly. Judging solely on the colors they're able to produce, I like the warmer hues that the Pixel 8 Pro cast in the shot of all these beverages on display at the grocery store. The S24 Ultra isn't bad either, but the colors are just a smidge subdued. Just look at the yellow label on the drinks near the middle of the shot to see what I mean. The Pixel is finally on the board. In just about every high contrast scene, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is more capable of capturing the colors and details. Take the photos near Times Square, where you have a shaded area competing against the stronger light source of the foreground. The S24 Ultra does nicely to even out the exposure between the shadows, but it tends to subdue the colors in the process, which I can make out with the green boards in the building being constructed near the middle. When it comes to capturing panoramic photos, I recommend the Galaxy S24 Ultra because of the option to switch between the 1x main camera and the 0.6x wide angle one. You're stuck with the 1x main camera on the Pixel 8 Pro, so it won't have anywhere as close to a wider field of view. Even when I rely on the wide angle camera the S24 Ultra, it still pulls in better details than what the Pixel 8 Pro captures with its main one. It's another one for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Things get really interesting when I switch to their 5x optical zoom cameras. In almost every 5x zoom shot I captured, I'm always leaning towards the Pixel 8 Pro because of how it produces the brighter image. You can see in the image of the Sandy Hook Lighthouse. Detail capture is a smidge better with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but it's hardly noticeable. However, when I push them both beyond 5x zoom, that's when the image processing of the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes over and delivers the cleaner photo. The same close-up shot of the Sandy Hook Lighthouse shows more of the texture of the white paint job with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, plus the overall sharpness it produces makes the Pixel 8 Pro's image soft by comparison. That's a win for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. For the selfie shot, I often take one with the bright sun behind me to see how they handle the strong contrast in light. Both phones have two zoom options, so I shot my selfies using the wider ones. I like how the Pixel 8 Pro keeps a stronger contrast, whereas the S24 Ultra looks a little washed out. Winner goes to the Pixel 8 Pro. I will say I like how the S24 Ultra offers more zoom options with portrait mode, including a one-time zoom. With the Pixel 8 Pro, its minimum zoom is 1.5 times. So if you need to cover a wider field of view, you'll need to take a few steps back to reach the same one times coverage of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Beyond that, however, I prefer how the Pixel 8 Pro produces the more realistic skin tones. There's this greenish hue with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but it still managed to isolate the focus on my face as well as the Pixel 8 Pro. Winner goes to the Pixel 8 Pro. 
My detached garage is my go-to snapshot to determine a camera's low light performance. Samsung has consistently proven it's one of the best in this area, but this time it's a shocking change. I actually like the Pixel 8 Pro's photo better, mainly for how it casts a bright image with more true to life colors. The white sidings of my garage look normal with the Pixel 8 Pro, but they're oddly greenish with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. When I look to other areas of the photo, I can make more detail again with the Pixel 8 Pro. Can the Pixel do it? Despite setting the exposure and the focus on the tree, the S24 Ultra produces the brighter image, but at the expense of the highlights. The string lights are simply too overpowering in the shot, almost washed out to a point. While it's nowhere as bright, the Pixel 8 Pro does the opposite by keeping those bright spots a little subdued, making for a more realistic photo under low light. I really wasn't expecting the Pixel 8 Pro to win as many categories as it did in the shootout. I'm astounded that it even turns out to be a draw. Honestly, I thought it would be a one-sided win for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but I'm so surprised by how the Pixel 8 Pro holds up in the zoom department. Sure, Samsung's enhancing the images better beyond 5x zoom with its image processing techniques, but I don't think it's enough to steer me away from the Pixel 8 Pro. Both phones obviously have their pros and cons, but this is the first time in a long time that there's not much of a gap in the camera department between the Pixel and the Galaxy. Last year's S23 Ultra was a much more imposing camera over the Pixel 7 Pro, so I'm shocked that the same divide isn't present this time. Neither has everything I want in a camera phone, but I'll gladly hold on to the Pixel 8 Pro for now. So, do you agree with my take? Which phone would you rather have? Let me know in the comments below. You can also follow us on social at Tom's Guide on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm John V, and I'll see you in my next video. Good, good. <laughs>